raise me up where I can repay them. He said, but this I know, huh, that you are well pleased with me. How do you know when God is pleased with you? How do you know that God is pleased with you? When you're sick in your body and you look around and it look like everybody around you doing good. Everybody, their family happy. They got more money. He said, but how do you know that God favors you? I want you to look at verse 11. How do you know he favors you? He said, but this I know. It didn't say I think. But this I know. That you favor me. That's what the King James Version said. Because my enemy do not trouble over me. He said a simple fact that they laid a trap for you. But what they laid for you, it didn't work. What they said at you, what they said at you that you was going to lose your mind. He said a simple fact that you made it and that ain't nothing wrong with you. That's your point that I favor you. He said that you looking at it from a twisted perspective. He said when you sit up here saying, I know God is for me when he a give. Is that what the scripture say? I know God is for me where he'll raise me up to outdo them. Wow. Where he'll raise me up. Come on here. Where it'll look like hey, I got more money than they got. Yeah. That ain't what he say. Come on. He say, you will know that I'm pleased with you yeah. because the simple fact that you made it through what you're dealing with. That you made it that you didn't have a nervous breakdown. That you'll know that when you cry. He, he said you may have cried. But you'll understand that I'm with you. That's your indication that I favored you. He said a simple fact. That you going through a hard time. That you going through a trial. and But you got the right mind to say. God I still love you. God I ain't going to change my mind. For God I live and for God I die. That's your indication. That you made it. He said because this I know. See this is where you got to know that God is for me. This is what you got to say. I know that I've been sick. But I know that this thing here, it can't kill me. This is what I know. My household may be in an uproar. But this I know. I'm still standing. This is I know. They laying people off on the job. But I still got my job. This I know. That he favors me. See? It ain't to show you that you out doing nobody. It's to show you that you still stand. Yeah. It's to show you where the people have cursed you to the root. Yeah. They told you you weren't going to never be nothing. They told you you were stupid. They rejected you. They persecuted you. And the simple fact that you still standing, God said that's my indication that I favored you. Amen. See, if we know him, we'll understand this is showing his hand is on us. But see, the world mindset will say, God showed him by crucifying him. I'm with it. Those who don't like me, let them lose their car. Come on. Let them die. Mm -hmm. Let something happen to them. Yeah, and see, God said, and that's why so many people are operating in witchcraft in the church. He said, but I didn't kill you when you, I, I, I didn't kill you when you talked about people. I didn't kill you when you lied on people. I didn't kill you when you plotted a trip for nobody. I didn't stop you. So why you want me to kill them when I didn't kill you? Come on. Yes, Lord. See how our mindset is messed up. Mm -hmm. He said, that's why I'm shipwrecking you. I'm shipwrecking you to kill those mindsets, those thoughts in you where you want to do vengeance. He said, the reason some of you ain't had vengeance on your enemy, he said, because see, that's what's on your mind. He said, it ain't where you want to look like me, where you want to talk like me. He said, you got a motive. You got a motive why you want to get them, because you want to say, see, God's head is on me and not on you. And God said, I ain't that type of God. He said, I'm trying to show you you. I'm trying to show you where you at. He said, because you sit up here preaching, God God is good, all this stuff. He said, but your heart is dirty. Your heart is polluted. He said, that's why I have shipwrecked you. I put you in a place to show you the real you. I'm trying to show you that you, I, I'm preparing a way of escape for you to get this thing right, for you to turn your heart, for you to say, I can't keep praying these prayers. I can't keep saying that I want my brother and sister to die. I want them to lose their car. I want their husband to leave them. I want them to lose their job. God said, no, that's the wrong way to Pray. Amen. Preach. He said, 
said when you got people in the church, you praying prayers for harm to happen to his people. Help us. He said, my favor is upon you because no, bad, no matter what weapon they sent against you, he said, and it won't prosper. He said, people think when they try to set up plaques, well, if I leave, the church going to fail. God said, but you just don't understand. You going to see me move by my power. You going to see me move. He said, because some of us, some people don't thought that they the one that blessed the church. He said, you don't forgot the blesser. He said, well, you don't came against people in the church. You don't came against the pastor. Not understanding you.